What's up YouTube? Sonic Blue here. And I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, that's mainly due to the fact that we were moving. Uh, we were in the process of moving, buying a house, and we had a lot of stuff going on. I have neglected my YouTube channel and uh, stopped making content, but that's all fixing to change now that we are in our new home and I have an office now. So with, with that being said, Today's video, I wanted to share something that just came to light. Uh, many of you probably have tried to port uh, certain apps over, you know, sideload certain apps and they wouldn't work, weren't compatible. Well, I have been trying for the longest to figure out a, a good way to, you know, play your PlayStation, remote play PlayStation on the Quest. And it just so happens that three days ago, Sony released a updated version of their remote play and not only are the Xperia devices supported now, but all Android 5.0 and up devices are supported, which is huge because now that means that you can sideload remote play and you can actually play your PlayStation from your headset. Now, the best way to do that is with a gamepad and it will work with a gamepad. Uh, I use the Stratus XL. I'm not going to recommend that one anymore because I've had major problems out of it. It's just, you know, the sticks drift. Uh, the buttons are really, really buggy. It's not a good controller. I would go with something like the Xbox One remote. But uh, in the description, I'm going to place the files, links to where to, you know, download the files. And all you're going to do is sideload it like normal. Now, you will be required to log into the PlayStation Network. And one of the ways you're going to do that is it's going to try to if you just install remote play it's going to try to send you over to the apps or to the to the browser on your oculus quest now once you get to the browser you're going to log in and then you're going to go back into the tv mode and it's not going to let you log into the app that way so the workaround for that is you have to install the playstation app on the headset so once you have the playstation app installed and you have logged into your PlayStation account, you'll have to go in through TV mode and you'll have to use some sort of sideload man, you know, sideload program. There are plenty out there. If you haven't already sideloaded sideloader, then you know you're a little bit ahead of yourself watching this video. But go do that. And once you've got a sideload launcher installed, you're just gonna go into that and you're gonna load up the PlayStation app. Make sure you're logged into it and everything. So that when you go back and you open up the remote play ps4 remote play app it's going to see the playstation apps details and log you in automatically every time so you won't have to do that anymore uh once once you're logged in you know hey you can play you've got full access to your playstation on your headset and this is huge because not only can you play in your house locally on your own network but now you can play across the internet so the same capabilities that the PS Vita had, you now have on your Quest. Uh, like I said, I mean, I've been, I have been playing PlayStation 4 on this all morning. Uh, and it works flawlessly. And I think that the battery life even lasts longer than playing a Quest game because you're just streaming video feed. So, you know, and you're, I guess you're sending back input commands, but that's amazing uh so yeah just i would show some video footage of it but it doesn't want to record for some reason it's not supported it's a third party app who knows what the reason is but just make sure if you want to do this download the two apps in the description make sure you install both of them once installed open up playstation the playstation app on your quest Log in to your PlayStation account, whatever account's on your PlayStation. Once you're logged in, then you open up PS4 Remote Play in the sideload launcher, same way you opened up the PlayStation app. And once you open that up, it's going to either search the internet and find your PlayStation, or you can manually register it, which is what I did. I manually registered mine, and you only do that once, and it's in the system. And from then on out, if your PlayStation's in standby mode, the Quest will turn it on and you can play. Uh, just make sure you have a gamepad because it will not work with the uh, Quest touch controls. So 
that is something you will have to have but uh thanks for watching uh i got another video that's going to be coming out pretty soon a little bit more content but i just thought i would share that with everybody